Hi YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Uh, today I've got some awesome news for you. I don't know if you saw my 12 month review video. The Alent HD1 uh, GPS model I have. Um, I did a 12 month review. I uh, absolutely love this radio. So in that review, um, I mentioned that they were going to bring out APRS onto this radio for the GPS model. And today, uh, well yesterday, they've actually released the firmware. So that's amazing news. It's really, really good. I'm really excited. Um, so together, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your firmware. It's really, really easy. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is uh, plug your uh, cable into your radio. So I've already got mine plugged in there. Um, and then I just need to go to the website. I'll put all the links in the description, so don't worry, I'll put everything you need in the description. So let's go over to the, the computer now. This is the Alint's Facebook page uh, where they release the, the firmware for this radio. Now the link that they've given is not the usual Retivis Resources page. They seem to have moved it to the, an Alint specific website. Um, so you just go over here, I'll put the link in the description and we'll click HD1 uh, GPS, click that and then save it. Uh, once it's saved uh, you've got the zip folder there so extract it to somewhere on your desktop. So this is what you get once you've extracted it and you put it in a folder uh, in your desktop. So you just want to run as administrator and then launch it. So here we go. So I'll just have a quick look at the, at the radio now to show you how to put your radio in DFU mode. So to put the radio in DFU mode you basically need to press the PTT button and the button below it together and then turn the radio on. Now you'll notice the red light on the top, nothing comes out of the display, just the red light on the top. So now we'll move over to the computer and have a look. So now we're back on the computer. So I've plugged my uh, cable in the radio as you saw, it's in the computer. This is the uh, firmware updater, so you just hit connect and then click update. Now I'll fast forward this bit. And now you can see it says upgraded successfully, so you just click OK. So now we'll move over to the radio. So now we're over to the radio, all you have to do is turn the radio off, disconnect the uh, cable, and then turn the radio on. And as you can see, it's booted up there, no problem at all. And then if we check the version, there we go, 1.6. Hopefully that's uh, showing on the display there. So yeah, that's, that seems to be absolutely fine, no problem at all. Um, so as I say, I'll leave all the links in the description so you don't have to go hunting for everything. Everything will be there in the description. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Um, I really hope that you found that useful. Um, it's just a quick bit of a quick update on how to update the Alent HD1. Alent's are really doing amazingly well at the moment. They're doing some amazing radios. I've also got the Alent's HS1, which is their first HF radio. You can see it on the background of the, of the video there. Uh, so check my other videos and, and have a look at that as well. So until the next time, I've been M6EB, you've been very kind to watch, 73.